49 and Rocky 49 out of 49. For the purposes of tonight's fight, age differentials have been wiped out. Both men are at their peak, and now as referee Chris Dundee calls the fighters together for final instructions, let's cut away for a moment and get their own comments about tonight's fight. We talked to Marciano and Ali. Here's what they had to say. First, Marciano. Well, I'm, I'm glad that we've got a computer being the uh, man that makes the decision. I've never predicted a fight in my life. I've never knocked anybody before a fight, and I'm certainly not going to start now. I'm happy that this fight has taken place on the computer because there'll be no hometown decisions, and there'll be no prejudice in this fight. It'll be done by a machine with all the human elements taken out of it, and I'm very pleased about that. You saw Clay fight, didn't you? Yes, I have. Um, how would you describe him? How would you, how would you rate him? Well, I'd rate him as the fastest man on wheels, I guess. As a heavyweight, he is probably the fastest heavyweight of all times. Great reflexes, good moves, good boxer, scientific man, well-conditioned, and uh, uh, just throw a lot of punches. If you were to fight him, how would you plan it? Well, I would have to fight him like I fought everybody else. I guess I more or less had one style that I used at all times. I used my... Uh, my weight and my height to best advantages, and that is by getting low, making myself the smaller target, uh, how to target the hit on the chin, and by bobbing and weaving and staying in close as I could to an opponent. I learned how to punch inside and shot, and that um, gave me an advantage. Uh, I tried not to stay long range. I tried to stay away from the middle of the ring. I usually like to get my man up against the ropes where he would become a bigger target, an easier target, and couldn't move as fast as he could otherwise. Well, then that will have to be a uh, time that I just quit moving because no man in the history of boxing are now can really corner a fighter and keep him there unless he's uh, got bad legs or he's a little old and he have to. Mm -hmm. But uh, he would, uh, if you remember my fight with Josh Avalo, I was criticized for just deliberately for 15 rounds letting him beat him in the stomach and the sides. But uh, if a man's strategy is to corner me and around and, and corner me, wear me down and then knock me out, then uh, he's taking a big gamble because if he don't corner me, if he don't wear me out, then he's in trouble. Mainly, you must realize this. Anybody watching uh, this show or any um, who knows anything about boxing and real fighting uh, will tell you that uh, before, not just Marciano, but uh, any fighter, if he's in arm reach of me, he's hit. He's cut, he's bleeding, his face is puffed up, he can't think, his brains are shook up. And for a man to just keep conning me and keep coming to me, then and I'm, I just must uh, quit punching or something in order for, to let him do it. Anybody that I hit, if I get hit enough, I can be cut, not just Marciana. Anybody that I hit would cut, and if he hits me right in the right places at the right times, I will cut. But one thing I have going for me is that I've never really been knocked out or shook up. I've never really uh, got cornered. I've never really been flat-footed and slow, and nobody has ever, as much as I'm telling you, as much as touched me, going to face hard. So it'll be kind of hard to convince anybody uh, in America or worldwide that a man can corner me as tall and as range and as fast as I am and just beat me with me standing there. It's okay. a science fiction talk. Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay, and this, the classic championship fight. Uniquely, the two only undefeated heavyweight champions of the world. I'm rather staggered by the size proportions. Marciano, about 5'11". Cassius Clay, about 6'3", perhaps a little bit more. Marciano is the shortest man that Cassius has fought, and Marciano is looking at the tallest man he has ever boxed. Marciano's immediate target is to take some of the speed out of the legs of Muhammad Ali. That left hand jab scored for Muhammad Ali. He doesn't like to be caught on the ropes, and that's where Marciano wants him immediately. Marciano usually works his man to the ropes, hurts him early, likes to show who's boss immediately. Nice work defensively by Marciano, flicking off the left jabs. Muhammad Ali keeps things honest in the center of the ring. Marciano has had 11 first-round knockouts to his credit. Cassius Clay has had two, among them Sonny Liston. Off the ropes again. A little bit more than a minute gone by, round one. 
Marciano will occasionally leap forward to nail his target. A good body rally by Marciano. And Muhammad Ali seemed to draw gasps of breath as he moved back to the center of the ring. The left jab scores to Muhammad Ali, and again. He's faster than usual in round one. Whoops. The educated legs of a Ray Robinson, the fine, fast hands of a Jack Johnson, Muhammad Ali. And scores again. But he'll have trouble sighting that short target too many times, will Muhammad Ali. And scores again with the right to your left hand. Marciano has not gotten too much to the body or anywhere. A fine combination by Muhammad Ali. He's the combination thrower. Marciano was attempting to leap forward that time and changed his mind. Again gets tagged by a left hand. And lands the left to the body that time. With only 68 inches of reach, Marciano will have a little trouble communicating from time to time. Muhammad Ali has a reach of about 83 inches. Jabs and scores again, and quickly. Good left hand by Marciano. There's the bell ending round one. As pretty much expected, this round had both men obviously exhibiting caution and not taking any careless chances. Neither one was hurt in any way. They showed a lot of respect for each other. Rocky showing his old hurting ability, but not really pressing the issue, as he kept running into the business end of Ali's left hand. Ali, with his great sense of timing and speed, played round one as if he were following a Vince Lombardi game plan called Stick and Run. You can see he's ready to go here. There's the bell, and here's Guy LeBeau. Marciano is at 195. Muhammad Ali Cassius Clay is at 215. The aggressor, faster and throwing harder, but missing. Marciano doesn't like to waste too many punches. He's wasting a lot there. He says it saps his strength. But look at that Muhammad Ali move. That has to be the best display of footwork you will see in a long, long time. Rocky has reaped nothing but the wind with all of the heavy artillery thrown thus far. And a surprise, Marciano goes to the straight-up jabber puncher this time. Apparently trying to coax Muhammad Ali into an exchange, he hasn't been able to do that from his haunches. Left slam, and he takes the left of the body, does Muhammad Ali. One minute gone by, round two. He's having his own trouble communicating. The right misses. Ali having trouble with the height factor. And there's Marciano at his back. He's got his man locked in, hammering the arms and the body. And slickly, Muhammad Ali out of danger. And seemingly okay. Marciano does not try to box his man. Moving forward nearly all the time with slight shifting to the right by the shoulder. Pulling the head back against the long right of Muhammad Ali. Shots by Marciano, many shots by Muhammad Ali. And Ali speeding up his throwing, landing hard. 
Marciano had a very good body rally. Now again has trouble cornering his man. Ali, the shifting, fast, darting target. Lands to the body and takes a left hook to the body. Marciano is very good at pulling the head backward as the famed middleweight champion Jake LaMotta used to be. There's the bell ending round two. and Marciano both scored slightly better shots in round two but neither has turned loose the big guns to this time 15 rounds is a long road to travel and even for fighters of this caliber the first steps along that road had better be careful ones while Ali doesn't pack the power of Marciano his flurries can hurt and of course he's got to stay away from those looping body shots which can slow him to a walk if they get home and if they land can lower his guard and set him up for the rock there's the bell round three here's Guy both men got the feel of leather in round two. Muhammad Ali even faster here in round three. The battle still in the center of the ring where Marciano doesn't want it. A good left-handed attack by Ali. Marciano has to worry. He cuts easily around the face and eyes. Round and round. He wants Ali to come forward. A solid left hand of the solar plexus by Marciano. That often hurts more than the eye can see at first. Ali slowed just a little bit. And again, solid shots to the body by The Rock. That's what he's been waiting for, that kind of target. But Ali keeps up the tap-tap toe. He's faster than Ezra Charles, and he's landing with the left hand and hurting with the hooks. The Rock has a cut along the right eye. Marciano has half abandoned the plan to get his man against the ropes. Whoop, the Ali shuffle. Didn't seem to bother the rock. This is round three. Ali scoring with the left hand. Marciano missing the right hand more than usual. I've never seen him miss this much. But the target is highly elusive. He dances left, he dances right. Good solid left hand to the body by Marciano, but he takes several shots to the face and jaw by Clay. That right hand missing has got to be tiring the rock. Neely had him, got away. punching is obvious here in round three the power has been steadily accelerating they hurt each other but Muhammad Ali fights him off the ropes and scores for the jaw Marciano is inside beautifully with the left hand and Ali now shifts attack to the body. No doubt about it, they've gone to the big guns they've opened up in this round. There's the bell.
Rocky's corner is reacting quickly to that slight cut over the eye. This is what Ali said he would try for, and here early in the fight, he's managed to draw first blood. You can bet that from here on in, it's going to be his prime target. Ali didn't get away completely untouched in this round. He's been taking his share at the body, and it's best to remember that Rocky said he generally took pretty good for openers, lost the early rounds, but felt the real test comes in the stretch run. Here's round four, Guy LaBelle. Marciano has that right eye to defend here in round four. Muhammad Ali again stepping around, not too fast this time. Well, the best defense is a good offense. Marciano's got one going here. He wants to fight. He's pulling forward a little now instead of just flicking the left hand, and he's hurting Clay inside. Muhammad Ali swinging around nicely, getting away. Marciano now is pulling in with the left hand. He holds his man a second, then he can bring the fists into play. Raking the body with the left to the right. Scoring better now than in the previous three rounds. Muhammad Ali getting a jab in, two hooks in. Marciano setting the pace, actually. A minute gone by, round four. Marciano pausing just a second and diving in with the left hand. And that's managing to get him inside. And hurting those hands. And the opponent has talked about how after six or seven rounds of that, you can't lift your hands in the eighth or ninth round. Ali stepping up the pace a little bit now. He has cut the right eye again. It bleeds a little bit once more. Marciano has decided apparently to take more so that he can shorten the hitting range. Getting inside. Marciano now and then shows the respect for Clay. He doesn't follow him onto the ropes. Less than a minute left. How's that? Each guy as fast as the other. Marciano showing great speed with the hand. And look at Clay go. Marciano winning the exchange on power. Marciano shifting from body to the head. This is Marciano at his best. Less than 30 seconds remaining. and Rocky opened up in this round and here's another look at the best exchange of this fight so far Rocky typically shooting those hard shots at the midsection and arms managing to corner Ali but man oh man did he take a chopping at the head in exchange Ali really busted him open and showed his own great ability to punch his way out of troublesome spots when he needs to Ali's arms and body taking a real pacing but it's Marciano showing the wear the bell for round five here's Guy both men at work in a hurry here in round five Marciano hurt Clay with a short right to the head in round four. Let's see what kind of lasting effect it may have had. Let him get away. Muhammad Ali still quite fast. Appears all right. There's the Jack Johnson tactic. Propping up the head, holding it steady to get a right hand to it, if you can. But Marciano is keeping him busy. And Clay is lacerating that eye. Marciano having trouble getting in under the long left hand now. And he's moving 
Marciano around a lot more here in round five. Marciano scored briefly with the left of the body just then. Muhammad Ali appears to be all right. A pretty combination by Clay. And their right hand bats the nose and the eye, both bleeding. That really opened things up. Marciano bleeding, and I'd say badly, from the nose and eye. Going to the haunches now. Trying to get away from the punishing left hand. And trying to do his own punishing. And lands a good left. Clay fights him off. Clay very, very strong. Fighting perhaps the strongest man ever to hold the heavyweight crowd. And again, fights him off. And the eye and the nose of Marciano bleeding and badly. Clay's best round. The rock keeps throwing. A punishing round for Marciano, but still plenty of power. Less than 30 seconds remaining, round five. Clay spurred by a belt to the head in round four has shown great battle here in round five. And Marciano has him locked in now and punishing the body. A great round. Cassius Clay arm weary. That's a hand. He can hardly raise it. The bell. Looking at this replay, you can see the Jack Johnson influence as Ali is using that 14-inch reach advantage to hold the shorter Marciano off while pawing at the cuts, and you know this is driving the rock straight up the walls. He wants inside, but the fabulous left hand simply lances out and shuts the gate on him time after time. He's going to have to figure it out or he's in real trouble with this fight one-third gone. There's the bell, and here's Guy. The cuts on Marciano's eyes are critical factors as we go here into round six. A good solid right by the rock. Muhammad Ali's attack is a little bit lower. He may be arm weary. And the rock is lacing the body pretty well. A good exchange. And Muhammad Ali lacerating the eyes with those short chops. And they're beginning to bleed again. This is round six. But again, Muhammad Ali does not have a sustained attack to the face. Now he does, a beautiful combination. And again. And he's belting the right eye open. It's bleeding. And he speeds up things here. And staggers him with the left hand to the head. The right hand is his best punch. Marciano slowed down. Delicate surgery by Muhammad Ali. The eyes and nose of Marciano bleeding and badly. I believe he cannot see as well now. And staggered again with the left. But still coming forward the only way he knows. No need to worry about his endurance. About the bleeding, yes. The rock this time with a good pasting to the body. Oh, 
Muhammad Ali now lacing the eyes in short spurts, but landing more often. And Rocky definitely having trouble seeing. Appears confused, but it's the vision, it appears to me. Less than a minute remaining, a beautiful left to the jaw by the Rock. And it hurt Muhammad Ali and slowed him down perceptibly. But Paciano doesn't follow up. And he's letting Muhammad Ali come back. Cassius speeds his way out of danger while he peppers the eye. And they are really being shattered. Less than 30 seconds remaining, round six. Marciano feebly groping for Muhammad Ali. And the eyes continue to be battered, they continue to bleed. A very good body lacing by Marciano. But he is bloody. There's the bell. In this brief replay, you can see Ali is really using the meat grinder now, chopping and cutting at the rock, and really throwing that right hand for the first time in this fight. Rocky's cuts are giving him a fit, and Ali is taking advantage of every possible chance to shoot at the vulnerable areas that could mean the big payoff. He staggered Rocky with that big left hand, but Rocky just keeps on boring in and taking to get his own shots home. The bell for round seven, here's Guy. Once again, Marciano's corner appears to have the cuts under control. On average, his fights have lasted five rounds. On average, Muhammad Ali's opponents have gone seven per fight. This is the seventh round. Marciano down quite low. Left hand was in by Ali. Muhammad takes some battering down below, but mostly fights off the hands of Rocky Marciano, as Jack Johnson used to do. Ali can hit very well going away, remember that. Lacerated the nose again, it is bleeding again. Good lift to the head by Marciano. But his nose is bleeding, and the vision again may be impaired somewhat. Notice Ali can move backward but does it only in his sparring. And the wild hands over the head indicate to me his vision is impaired. Still trying to nail his foe against the ropes. That's the plan and pattern. Muhammad Ali, very agile from a pounding he's taken down below and trying to fight those hands off again, but this time being tasted. Marciano takes plenty to nail his man in the corner and accurate hitting into the midsection. Rough down below. Ali splatters the eye again. The left hands are cutting and hurting. Marciano operates like a sheepdog, corralling his man. No luck with the right hand. And the eye being torn apart. Torn apart. Ali, a little weary, moves back into the ropes. And he has now taken a solid pounding down there. Marciano's two hands regarded as the most thunderous hands in the business ever. 
His condition unquestioned at all time, but he has been a bleeder. And he is bleeding profusely now. He's got his man on the ropes and lets him get away as Ali fights him off. Look at the solid right to the body, and he is really pounding him now. There's the bell. Taking another look, we can see Rocky's effectiveness is way down. He's missing, seems to have his vision impaired, moving clumsily and looks unsure of himself. And Ali, cockier and more sure of his control of things, is making him pay heavy dues for getting close. Rocky's corner is working feverishly on the cuts between rounds, while Angelo Dundee is obviously giving the word to Ali to keep it cool, keep it going just the way it is. Round eight, and here's Guy LeBeau. There should be no doubt now about the ability of Muhammad Ali to take punishment and give it when he's taking it. Using the right a little bit earlier now. And suddenly goes for the attack. He took solid left counters to the body from Marciano in the previous round, and now, of course, is turning around, throwing the right to offset the left. Good lacing with the left hand by Muhammad Ali. Solid right to the body by Muhammad Ali. And suddenly we have a stand-up fight. Typical Marciano holding with the right, peppering the body with the left. But out in the center of the ring where the rock really doesn't want to be. This is round eight. Combinations all working for Muhammad Ali. All working. He's got the broad attack going here. Man, what a pulverizing there with the left hand and the nose and the eyes are really mashed. Really, really splattered. Marciano in grave danger here, but still coming forward. Keeps it at the range he thinks he can win at. 14 inch reach over Marciano. And hurt against the ropes momentarily by The Rock. But he gets the left to the nose and the eyes. Marciano keeps the target in sight down below. A good look right here why these are the only two undefeated champions in the world. Clay Wilson, oh, a knockdown, and Marciano down for a brief count. He appears all right. He will take the mandatory eight count. It looked like a right to the jaw, but it was set up by a couple of shots to the body. About 30 seconds remaining, round eight. Marciano coming forward. Remembering not to look hurt if he can help it. A bloody poke. Not able to see too well. Taking a mashing to the face and head by Muhammad Ali who cannot move in for the kill. He has to respect the bombs of Marciano. Making a good rally at the bell. While the computer's still printing, let's take another look at the action that led to that knockdown. Ali kept a top pace with Marciano, still the relentless pursuer. But Ali, stabbing and hooking with that left hand, kept the price very, very high. 
Then as they turned and circled, with the left hand jabbing in there, the punch exchange is still going. There was a big overhand right that dropped in through the hole that wound up putting the rock on the canvas. And here it comes. The rock down. He's been cut. He's bleeding. And here's the bell, and here's Guy. Marciano looks all right again, but the bleeding has not altogether been halted. A bit of a cautious start. Apparently, Muhammad Ali knows that Rocky comes on after some adversity. Being down in the previous round is adversity. Very slow start for these two. Lots of gray matter rotating here. The left draws a little bit more blood. The nose bleeding. Three times in his career, Marciano was close to a TKO because of cuts. Ali shows weariness too, like water buckets hanging from the hands, real down low. The left lacerates more. Missed the right, took a left to the body. Ali coasting definitely. They're both getting a breather here. Ali with solid shots to the head and face of Marciano. Rock has to back off. He can't take too much of it. Now forward again. Oops, slip. Hasn't landed that right hand big more than a couple of times this fight. It's the big one. A minute left. Round nine. And the blood really beginning to pour now again. They've decided to look ahead, I think. And you can't blame them. It's been a hurricane through eight big rounds. Look at that alley go. Moving like in Paris traffic. He's done everything with a rock and done it right. Exchange with him at the bottom, at the head. Stabbed away at him. A great champion. Where'd he go? He was there last. Less than 15 seconds left. And the Rock gets his licks in that time. Ali taking now. There's the bell. names on things seems to be a popular pastime, and if this round could be called anything, it would have to be a let's take a breather round, as both fighters seemed to ease off a bit. Neither overpressed the issue. The round was even, and both men showed a lot of caution, with Clay leading the dance in the first half of the round, and Rocky taking over in the latter moments, and missing the wildest right hand of the fight. Now, there's the bell for round ten. Here's Guy. Marciano behind as he comes out here for round ten. And a driving quick start for Marciano, beginning where he left off, a pounding of the body. And he keeps it up, not taking much as he drives him here into the ropes. That is accurate bashing by the Rock. Muhammad Ali undecided whether the flurry with him, guard or what. Missing his own counters as the Rock keeps it up, a relentless battering of the midsection by Marciano, and the best start he's had this fight. Ali, of course, now trying to get the blood started again, and the pace quickens. Marciano's still at the body.
And a good flurry by Cassius. And a lacerating of the eyes and the nose. And he's got blood under the nose and along the bridge of Marciano's place. One minute gone by here in round 10. Marciano trying to knock the guards down. An old trick of his. And Muhammad beautifully keeps that left peppering in his face. The blood flowing now again. Marciano using the right more. And Ali keeping him off with the dancing and the left hand and beautifully. The Rock may have been told to go out and get his man this time. And Ali may be very conscious of that. He is more respectful this round. Less than a minute left to go in round 10. The Rock has been on the attack throughout in this round. Good flurry by Cassius Clay. Good recuperation by Muhammad Ali. And now he's leading. The Rock drives on. It is a furious round for the Brockton Blockbuster. A slip. Marciano with throttles wide open. And he's down. A left to the jaw. Here's the count. Two. Three. Four. Five. There's the bell. Great round for the Rock from Brockton as he chased Ali for the last 30 seconds, pouring the shots in, and finally caught up with him, getting him up against the ropes. The elusive speed merchant tried to get away, but the Rock kept pouring the shots in and finally got that big left hook in that drove Ali to the mat. And you can see here at the count of five that he was well off the mat, the body free and clear, and here's Guy. The well, question is, how much has Muhammad Ali been hurt? How much strength is still there? Marciano immediately hunting the body again. And landing solidly. Ali is trapped early. Leaping off the ground to pour power into the midsection. That is a brutal blasting. Trying to find the answer for the kill. His punches will jar you and stun you. He has trouble putting the finisher in. A big blasting by Marciano at all points. Lefts to the face by Marciano. Missed the right. Looking for the finisher. Trying to wear Ali down. Destroy him. And now he's got his own problems. That right eye is cut and bleeding wildly. His face mashed open. Ali sees it. very strong, apparently with plenty of reserve. Came out of that brutal blasting pretty well. 
Molly with good ripping combinations. Look at that face. Marciano can't take much more up there. Less than a minute left in this round. Ali with a surprising comeback. And he has Marciano retreating. The Rock's vision probably impaired again. Trying to finish him off. And Ollie's flurries are hurting. Will he stop it? He let him go. Seconds left. A mashing of the face by Muhammad Ali. A merciless beating by Cassius Clay. And the Rock's still dangerous. There's the bell. While referee Chris Dundee looks over those cut eyes of Marciano, let's take another look at the remarkable head attack that even things out in this round for Ali. What a comeback he staged. Make no mistake, Ali had Marciano in real trouble in this round, and even though they're both hurt, both these guys are still plenty dangerous. Here's the bell. Both men out. Quickly, here's Guy. Only one opponent has gone the full 15 rounds with Marciano in his career. Two have gone the full route with Muhammad Ali. The Brockton Blockbuster's got to get things started early because after that he begins to bleed and has to cool it. A quick pace by Muhammad Ali. Remarkable strength and endurance. Looking for the face in the eyes. He caught him a few times that time. Marciano trying to corner him into the ropes. Ali counter punching. Got good shots in that time. And here is a wilting savage body beating by Marciano. And he is a tremendous barrage. The referee picking up the count. Four, five, six. He'll take the mandatory eight count. He just wilted before his blows as Tony Zale did before Marcel Serdan. Ali was hurt. And he wants him now. Ali has to keep away on speed. Two minutes left in this round. Marciano mixing up the blasting now. He got two good shots to the jaw that time. Trying to put the finisher in. Good defensive work by Muhammad Ali. Backing away from him and making him fire at long range with some of the power diminished. Trying desperately to finish him off. And Ali boxing out of trouble. Ali down twice in this fight. Marciano has been down once. Now Marciano running out of a little bit of gas here. Ali coming back. Beautiful combinations by Muhammad Ali. And he's got that eye busted. And the nose busted again. Ali speeding up in fact. And again Marciano must go into a shell. One minute left in this round. It's been a torrid round. Muhammad Ali trying for the knockout now, leveling that right hand and landing with both hands to face and head. A great round for both men. And look at Marciano pressing forward. Got him trapped again. He is taking. And again appears defenseless. But look at that pulp of the face. A solid right by Marciano again. That's the right hand he's been trying to unleash all during this fight. And it's driving the head off the shoulders. 
Tremendous blasting of the right hand by Marciano. His face is battered. What an exchange. There's the bell. Once again, The Rock pursuing the speeding clay and where he gets the speed from at this late point in the fight's beyond me. Marciano simply would not let up and in his unbelievably awkward style finally corralled Ali, worked him into the corner and then poured 15 consecutive shots with both hands. Administered a body beating that simply caused Ali to wilt and go down. He managed to make it back up, but Ali is now in as much danger of being knocked out as Rocky is of losing the TKO. The bell, here's Guy LeBeau. The corner has not stopped Marciano's bleeding. Cassius Clay has taken a very innovating battering of the wind reserve. Marciano attacking at all points. That looping left landed on the head right past the guard. And Ali has been hurt. Ali looks out of gas. Taking shots now to the body for Marciano. The Rock with a solid right to the jaw that staggers him. A bazooka by Marciano. Ali offering just feeble resistance, but still going. Remarkable. And takes a solid right to the head that staggers him again. He may be going. Ali in deep, deep danger. Trapped here against the ropes by Marciano. Relentlessly. A left by the rock, and Clay is down. Here's the count. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, very weak, eight, nine, ten, play, knocked out by Marciano. Apparently the Brockton blockbuster completely diffused Muhammad Ali in the previous round. And here found the root for the right hand to the head, finally finishing him off with a looping left hand. Rocky Marciano, a great battle with Muhammad Ali, and still the all-time heavyweight champion. Take another look at this final round. Jump more into.